To begin, you will need to gather sanitizer, the bucket for it, tailor lube, and your brushes. Lubricate both rods all the way down the drive shaft, stopping before the hexagon end. Place the black seals on drive shafts until the snap all the way on. Lubricate inside the seal and on the flat part of the seal. Place the drive shaft into the hole in the freezing cylinder and make sure it pops into place. Take the scraper blades and place the end into the front hook on the beater. Wrap around and place it onto the back hook. Complete this with all four of the scraper blades. There will be two scraper blades on each beater. Put the beater into the machine and fit the back end onto the drive shaft making sure it is securely in place. Place the large black rubber gaskets into the grooves on the back of the freezer door. Then place the white plastic bearings over the rods with the wider bottom resting against the freezer door. Place the freezer door into the center of the beaters and make sure it sits flush against the machine wall. Place short screws on the bottom and long screws on the top and tighten in a crisscross pattern to ensure it tightens equally. All of your O-rings should be kept on that key ring to ensure that they do not get lost. Place the black O-rings onto the thicker of the two draw valves. Then place the red o-rings on the draw valve that has the skinny middle. Then lubricate the o-rings and the draw valve in between the two o-rings. Insert the draw valves through the bottom of the freezer door. This will make sure that the lubrication does not spread to the top of the chamber. Ensure that the metal rod inside the draw valves are pointed towards you. Place the smallest black o-ring onto the pivot pin and lubricate that o-ring. Insert the draw handles with the screw facing downwards with the prongs from the handles around the metal rod that is inside the draw valves starting to the right hand side. As you insert each handle, insert the pivot pin in to hold it into place. Snap the red star cap over the center slot. Insert the drip tray and insert the drip pan. Place the O-rings on the air tubes. There should be four O-rings on each air tube. Place the air tubes in the hopper to be sanitized and run the warm sanitizer water through both hoppers while the machine is still off. Use the brushes that were shown earlier to clean the hoppers, especially the mix inlet hole the sensor, and the air tubes.
Turn the machine on and place both cylinders on wash for five minutes. Empty the sanitizer out of the cylinders. Prime the machine by putting a fresh bag of ice stream into each hopper and emptying the cylinder until only ice stream comes out. This will ensure that all sanitizing solution has been removed from the machine. Lubricate the two O-rings on the end with the hole on both air tubes and place into inlet holes with the air tube hole facing downwards. Turn the machine onto auto.